The treatment of type 1 diabetes has remained largely unchanged for 100 years. We're aiming to change that. Type 1 diabetes affects more than 130,000 Australians. Every day in Australia, seven people are diagnosed with the condition, many of them children. Type 1 diabetes occurs when the body's immune system, which normally protects us from infection, mistakenly kills the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. Once they've been killed, the cells are gone forever. That is why people with type 1 diabetes are dependent on insulin given by injection or by infusion with a pump for the rest of their lives. Insulin treatment, while effective, has considerable limitations. That is because it is unable to mimic exactly the properties of a healthy pancreas. Where the insulin producing cells can detect changes in circulating glucose immediately and react instantaneously. Here at St Vincent's Institute we have Australia's largest type 1 diabetes research group and we've been investigating the condition for well over 20 years. With our partners we have recently completed a world first clinical trial to test a new drug treatment for type 1 diabetes. Using a drug called baricitinib that is safe, well tolerated and already approved for daily use in rheumatoid arthritis, we showed that we could protect the insulin producing cells in the pancreas from the immune system and stop the progression of type 1 diabetes in people who had recently been diagnosed. While participants were on the treatment, they showed improved blood glucose control and reduced reliance on insulin. Although further research is needed, our results suggest that we may also be able to prevent the condition in people who have not yet developed diabetes, but who have markers indicating that they will develop it in the future. This will represent the first disease-modifying treatment for type 1 diabetes that can be delivered as a tablet and is safe. This is an exciting step change in how we treat type 1 diabetes and will hopefully lead to the treatment becoming available in the clinic and improve outcomes for people with type 1 diabetes. I'm very proud of our team here at St Vincent's Institute of Medical Research and our partners for helping to achieve this.